Hello, welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I say that every single episode. I don't know where that's ended up. Whatever. Let's just take a gander. Oh, meet Sebastian and oh no. Well, I guess let's go ahead and get that over with. I'm not excited. Um anyways, plan for this episode and then the next couple. We need to go hard on the little extra side quest things. I kind of want to make a little trek and fly to all of the flu flames that we haven't done in literally everything. Oh my god, it says over there all the demigod statues. <gasps> what? Oh, well, I've gotten all of the demigod statues in this area, it says. Oh, I haven't done anything up there. Do I? Have I literally ever? Yeah, I have. Okay. So yeah, I want to fly around, get all the flu flames. Um, I also... I need to run around the school in general to try and get, oh, never mind. There is a lot of demi guy statue. Okay, maybe what we need to do is literally sprint around the castle. So we're gonna go back there, talk to Sebastian, and I'm gonna make a little trek. See what I can find. Okay, let's see what Sebastian's gonna yap to us about now. I know I say this every time, but everything to do with him makes me so anxious. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to actually turn evil. Like, is it going to happen? Or was that just something that I heard and it's not actually a thing? Oh, Ominous is here too? That was really weird in that lighting. They looked exactly the same for a second. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. That's... Sebastian. Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Y'all... Turn me in. Well, you did kinda kill the man. Whatever, I am... Sebastian... You... He can't even look at me. <laughs> Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. Bro. I, I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? Oh. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to. Oh, and I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Why? Oh my god, this is such a bad situation. I feel like I need to start doing what I'm thinking and not being nice. I don't know what to do, Sebastian. You don't know. You do know. Anne has no one. I regret everything I did. I know what I did was wrong. I only hope she can forgive me. That everyone can forgive me. You just killed a man. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Huh? Wait, what does that mean? Wait, Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian. So, ominous. Help. What? Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Why are you guys making me decide this? I, I truly don't know what the correct answer is here. Is there even a correct one? I... I feel like I'm not gonna turn him in. And that seems a little crazy to say. However... <laughs> I, I, I'm just... I'm, I'm not even gonna explain it. I'm just not gonna we do it. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? 
He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. Well, We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Oh. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. What has this turned into? Uh, okay, well, I am going to start my run around the castle to find, hopefully, some more secrets. Oh, oh hey. Why are you just standing out there like a creep? No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius Pratt. Um, what did I just run into? Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped. How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? <laughs> what sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I have more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. What? Uh, okay. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. <laughs> She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard her plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Half of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So, <laughs> to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I could afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Are you sure that's why you need it back? Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. Okay... But what do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. Oh. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. Mm. <sighs> nice. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. Oh my god, am I going to have to go all the way out there again? I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Oh my god. Do I even want to help the student? Oh, you, then. you sound so annoying. Portrait in a pickle. <laughs> Okay, well, I was on a demiguise quest. That's how I ended up in the bottom of the library. But, oh, wow, wait, I don't remember any of this. I'm pretty sure this was the quest, like, way, way, way at the beginning now. With Sebastian, when Peeves got stuck, whatever. And I felt bad, because, like, Sebastian got caught. Now I don't really feel as bad. Um, <laughs> oh my god, you can even go all the way down here? Hold on, whoa. I didn't realize that all this stuff stayed unlocked. What? Mm. You know, something tells me I don't care that much to do this. Anyways, we're gonna go and do this little side quest. And save this man's portrait or whatever. <laughs> How- why do I feel like this girl's name is familiar? 
but when I talked to the guy, it seemed as if I had never heard of her before. Hmm. That depends. Am I in oh, trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. What's happening? Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, oh. <laughs> and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. He was very annoying, so. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. Ooh. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. <laughs> if you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Unfortunately, with you. I don't think I can enjoy it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go find it. So, I guess let's go do that. Oh. Oh, is this going to come back to the headmaster? <gasps> what if this actually makes the headmaster like me? Like, I don't care, but I feel like that might make my life a little bit easier. I say as if I ever really have to deal with him. Oh, hey guys. I'm just, I guess, getting straight into it. Protego! Aha! Back on! Protego, don't turn it! Oh! Okay, I really want to do this, guys. Ha 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 ha! That was kind of fun, you know? Oh, maybe, you know, that's uh, too soon. <laughs> Imagine I did turn Sebastian in for it and then I turned around and just immediately used it on him. <laughs> Okay, so where is this man's? Well, he's yapping somewhere. Why do I kind of not want to help him? Are you gonna be nice to me, sir? About time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Oh, whatever. Calm down. I'm here now. <laughs> Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. But How you're that? not. But everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. <laughs> should, mm, should I do it? I'm gonna do it. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? <laughs> what if I took you to the hog's head instead? I've heard such nice things. What a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Am I actually going to take him to the hogshead? But me. It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. <laughs> or the... Oh my god, wait, which one can I do? Which one should I do? Which one should I do? Which one should I do? Oh my god. about is going to damage my frame bro i kind of want to take him to the hog's head i'm gonna be completely honest <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Should I do it? <laughs> He's kind of really annoying, so I kind of want to do it. What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks. No, it's not. It's the hogshead. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place. Absolutely violent here. Hmm. Oh, give it a chance. You might grow to like it. Please, you can't be <laughs> to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. Oi! I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> Please! <laughs> You can't use me as target practice anymore! Something tells me they're gonna use you as target practice, bro. <laughs> that... that was kind of funny. Okay... I think... I'm gonna go back to Hogwarts and continue looking for my secrets. Actually, do we have any side quests here? We only have four out of the nine demigod statues. Huh? Okay, it says there's some type of quest here, I think. Oh snap, it's daytime now. Okay, we'll shoot. I'm gonna do this. Hello. Oh, this is a thing thing? Well, hold on. Oh my god, I'm next to in ominous head. Today's hey. lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The oh, Goblin brother. Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more <laughs> ridiculous. we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard. I'm trying to stay awake, okay. Industry. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. Ooh. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmos the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. Huh? And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. Oh, oh. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Bro, where are you going? We can't walk through walls here, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? <laughs> uh, well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented <gasps> artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Bragbor. Did you say Bragbor? I... I think I know that name. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Oh, of course. Lodgok said he was an ancestor of Renrock. Lodgok. Uh, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. What? Curious huh? Can find him on oh. Where is it? All students introduce themselves. Uh. What am I doing? Grimbo Weft was responsible for 
What am I doing? Revenge. Sorry, Poppy. I kind of just cut you off. Grimbald. Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbald Weft. Yep. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, Do let's you? turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Ash Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. What? Are we Standing done? Or? In eternal but symbolic watch oh. over the bell tower is a retinue of royal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should say. Sir Afpuddle was the keen eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Afpuddle of the cheerful countenance never Ah. Returning. Nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons, but rather in training yards and sculleries. Where is warm and... Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Oh. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Uh -huh. Pity goblins of wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be. Oh boy without goblin rebellions to discuss. Yeah. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Okay. Are we done? Aha. That was very intriguing. History written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Uh-huh. That was least, so like great. <laughs> well, these bits of broom are all that's left okay, of witch Y'all, y'all need to stop dog egg. What is Poppy? I'm a little confused on what's going on with you. Do I need to talk to you? At least we're out of the classroom. Oh, no, she's just in my class. Okay, well, I'm going to escape. That was a very boring side quest. Not to be a hater, but... Oh, okay, I came in here for a demiguy statue, but I found a note. Attention, I have been advised... I have been advised that various members of staff would like to organize a social gathering. I have no objection to this and shall leave it to those inclined to fraternize, ensuring that such activities fall outside of school hours, of course, and that nothing so jo as to disrupt my concentration should occur likely i shall be busy on the date but will review the invitation when received i recognize that my absence will mar the engagement also one half an hour should be sufficient and please be mindful that any sort of musical presence would be strictly prohibited of course this is headmaster p.s no confectionery shall be served lest they attract a stray rat or measle also please try to limit the number involved in this frivol frivol wow he likes to use funky words Anyways, I can't say I'm surprised that it's him that is so weird about what I am actually a little baffled about the backstory of the headmaster. Like, well, what is his deal? What's what's going on? Oh my gosh, another note. I have been fine. I'm going on a trek for these demiguy statues. Okay. Dear Professor Howen, I would be more than happy to take any excess of puff skein hair from you. I could collect it when the, when I next make a delivery to the castle. Sounds as if you have plenty of for your classroom needs. Perhaps you might even have time for a cup of tea. A little bird told me that you once encountered an me. I can't say I'd mind hearing about that. I once encountered a young Welsh green when I was collecting toad hide in the west. Of course, it could have been a baby wyvern, hard to tell at that age. Anyway, not for the faint of heart is it, the life with magical beasts. Looking forward to your response, Ellie Peck. Okay, I don't really know what that had to do with anything, but cool. Yay! 
Boom. We found all the demigod statues in Hogwarts. Now we gotta head to Hogsmeade. What is happening? <laughs> My game just glitched so hard. I don't know what that was. <gasps> Guys, there's a secret room back here. Wow. Huh. Okay, well, we got let's a, a lot of demi guys statues. Not gonna lie, we have enough to finish the quest. I don't know if it's. G Should we just go and talk to him really quick, actually, so then I can figure it out. There is one <laughs> quest here. Um, let's see. Is it in this one? Yeah, faculty tower. I'll explain once we get there. Okay, there was one in Hogsmeade that I swear- I looked up a guide, okay? I just- I could not find it. So I wish there was an easier way to tell which ones you found before meeting the demigod statues. But anyways, let's talk to him, give him the ones we have. Let's see if this quest continues. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? Uh, yeah, actually. I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're welcome. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no locks shall ever stand in your way. Heck yeah. You've done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. Probably him. <laughs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. Yay! And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. You're welcome. Do we ever now find out who did it? Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding demigai statues and removing those moons. Okay, well, slay. Um, we did it. So we're gonna move away from him in case he starts yapping. But anyways, we technically got another side quest done. Look at that. Now I just need to Oh, we only need three more of the keys. Easy. We're going to start tackling these for the next couple episodes. Don't know how many we're going to have left, obviously. But we are getting real close to the end. I just... I wanted to catch up on some things today. So, it was a lot of filler today, but that's okay. Hopefully you still enjoyed it, had some fun. But yeah, we're going to leave it here. I feel pretty accomplished. So, if you guys don't, I guess I apologize. Can you stop huffing and puffing over there? Anyways, we're going to leave it here. Again, hopefully you enjoyed I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye!